The other examples we've seen have involved just addition and subtraction or just multiplication and division. Now we're going to look at how we handle when we have mixed calculations in the same problem. So here is our example of 13.42 minus 9.613 and the result of that divided by 5.397. So first we're going to solve the numerator and we get 3.807. We need to go back to our original values which was in a subtraction problem. So we're going to base it on the number of decimal places for this portion. And we see that we have two decimal places and we have three decimal places. Therefore our answer from this step should have two decimal places. We don't want to round at this point because if we round too many times in a problem it can get us outside of the range of correct answers. So I'm simply going to mark that zero with a little line to indicate that that is the last digit which I can actually count when I'm looking at significant figures. Now we want to take this next step which is dividing. So now I'm dividing 3.807 divided by 5.397 and we get 0 0.705391 dot dot dot. So continuing number on our calculator. Now I'm going to go back and look at both the numerator and the denominator in the division part of the problem to determine the correct number of significant figures for my answer. Remember the little blue line indicated that that's the last digit I can actually count for significant figure purposes in the numerator. So we really only have three sig figs in the numerator in the denominator we have four sig figs and so as a result our answer must be based on the least number of sig figs because this is the division step of the problem. So our answer is 0 0.705. The 3 is the first digit to be dropped. It's less than 5 which means we round down to 5. Let's look at another example of the same thing with mixed calculations. Here we have 2.267 plus 9.2 and we find that the result of that is 11.437. We go back to the values involved in the addition and we see that we have three decimal places in the first value. We only have one decimal place in the second value which means that the result of that step in the calculations must only have one decimal place. So again we mark that with a line to indicate when we're counting sig figs that the four is the last digit we can actually count. Next we're going to divide by 4.88 and when we do we get 2.3436 and continuing on. When I go back to look at the values that went into that calculation, I look at the numerator and see that I have three sig figs because the four was the last digit I could actually count and I have three sig figs on the bottom. So I'm going to have three sig figs in my answer. So I've got 2.34. The three is the first digit I'm dropping so it determines that I'm going to round down because it's a number less than five.